Hi everyone, my name is Pedro Faria and welcome back to another Day in the Wild episode hosted by Data Mini. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel below, click on the bell to turn on the notifications to be the first to know every time we upload a new video. Today we're going to be talking about conditional formatting. So for this, we're going to be using a sample data that authors provide us with city populations in the United States. I then filtered by only the specific state of New York. So now let's actually highlight whatever population is above. We can just give it a specific threshold. We can say, for example, 50,000. So for this, we can then go to reporting tools, go to table. I'll then select which column I actually want to apply the condition of formatting. So for this, I have different options. I can either do a column rule, I will then apply a condition of formatting for a specific column. So for example, if I want to highlight in the column population, I can just create a column rule right here by clicking create the column rule option. I can create a specific rule. So let's make this bold. So I'm going to just name my rule name and then I'm going to say whenever a specific column, so we can say population is above or equal to 50,000, I want to make it bold as well as highlight this in yellow. And you can see right here that I do have other options when it comes to conditional formatting. I can change the font size, the font style, to the justification, text color, background color add a prefix, a suffix, uh, replace text, change that to places, and actually I can use something more dynamic and actually apply a formula within my conditional formatting. But for this, just for demonstration's sake, let's go with something basic. So this is a way I can actually give uh, my table a conditional formatting, specifically to population, whatever is above 50,000 people. But as I mentioned, this only applies to column so if I wanted to do something that applies as well to a rule or a row, then I have to create a row rule. So be aware that we have column rules, table rules, or in this case, just table settings, and row rules, as you can see right here. So let's also create a row rule. So for this, when, let's say, CD equals, we can just say New York, I want to update my font size to something else a little bit greater. I will then change the text color, let's make it red, and let's just also make it bold. So now I created a column rule as well as a row rule. So depending on what you want to do, you may be looking at those two different options as something different. So now that I actually created my rules, my condition formatting, let's output this to an XLSX file. So after the table tool, I'm going to drag it in a render. The render, of course, I can select a temporary file or I can specify a specific output. For this example, let's just use a temporary file to create an Excel 2007 spreadsheet. Be aware that this is the same thing pretty much as you do with an output data, same concept. It's just that the render will work for reporting tools and then the rest will be using a data output tool. So now that I have manipulated my data, I have applied my conditional formatting, I can then actually just run the workflow and then the file will be created. I will then be able to open it and check it out. File was created. Then you can see that whatever was above 50,000, it has been highlighted. So let's just do a filter right here. And then say, uh, we can actually see right here, we can filter by color. 
then we can see that everything is above 50,000. And then as we have mentioned before, we do create a row rule to highlight, uh, to change the color for the city New York, and then also um, make it larger as well as bold. Then you can see right here, both the column rule was applied as well as the row rule. Then you can see right here that how they both combine within each other. So this is how we can apply condition formatting inside of Altrix. Thank you for your time today. Have a nice one. Bye bye. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please comment them below. Don't forget to subscribe to know when future videos are posted. Thank you for watching.